Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. Now, at the end of the last episode, which was actually not very long ago, I was basically starting to do the ore quintupling. So we got so far, but because this, it might take three episodes to actually complete this. So the next thing on the on the list here are two chemical infusers, I think. One for sulfur trioxide and the other one is sulfuric acid. So I'm moving those two blocks or three blocks away, wasn't I? So let's just put this down. Now, let me have a quick check here. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just having a think about which way around and what we need to come from where. So just a second, let me just uh, get back my pit. Actually, I've got a picture of this, so let's have a look at that. Right, and the picture's actually on the wiki. So the next thing we need to do is we've got chemical, I think it's coming out of here, isn't it? Yes, we've got the chemical oxidizer and that's producing sulfuric dioxide. So we now need to combine this in a chemical infuser with oxygen. And the output for that will be sulfur trioxide, which is in fact going to the next chemical infuser. Right, okay, good. So, and this rotary condenser is producing water vapour, which is also coming out into the other machine. So let's have a look. How am I going to arrange these things down? Let's put them just down to start with and turn them around as we need them. So one side of this we're going to get sulfuric sulfur dioxide. I think that's actually a liquid, but no, it must be a gas, mustn't it? In fact, I think I've written it down. And on the other side, we're going to get oxygen to get sulfur trioxide. So let's go and get... Now, this is definitely the wrong around because this wants to come into this machine here. So let's simply... I think I'm on reg mode. Turn it around. Actually, it won't turn. Interesting. All right, then I have to pick it up and put it down the other way. Yes, that's good. So we should be able to link these two now with gas pipes. So let's do that first of all. And my personal chest, I'll just put my personal chest down here for the time being. And we want some pressurized, just ordinary pressurized tubing will be fine. There we are, basic. And well, she'll connect these two to this. I think this will connect like that, if I'm not mistaken, great. So I can remove the hydrogen chloride sign now. So this is not auto-ejected. So basically, why not? Oh, yes, it has, it's empty. So this should now have on one side a very small amount of sulfuric sulfur dioxide fantastic so on the other side we need some oxygen now i reckon i've got plenty of oxygen here i'm going to pinch one of these two tanks i think for the time being and figure out how i'm going to do this whether i need to produce another um rotary condent not rotary condenser this is the what is it now oops i just turned it around to want to do that electrolytic separator so one side getting oxygen, the other side getting hydrogen. Did that dump that? Mm, interesting. Or not? Well, if we do, then we're going to bring it in into here. <clears throat> but for the time being, we're just going to put this gas tank down here, like this, and then that will connect up to this, and we should now be getting a very small amount of sulfur trioxide, sulfur dioxide, great, and empty, but oxygen. So now, in how you actually good? I'm still going to use the energy cell for the time being just to test things out, make sure everything's in the right place before connecting it all up together. Which actually I probably might do even off off camera. So here we have our now our sulfur trioxide, and that sulfur trioxide is going to be fed into this machine, which is another chemical infuser. But of course, I've got a feeder in on the side of this. 
So maybe the solution for this is to move this along a little bit here, which should be no problem because we won't lose anything by doing that. So let's just do that. So I reckon it's got to come in on the side of this, so we could either put it here, which might not be a bad place actually. Let's put it here. And I want it to face this way, I think. I like to have a block between the two, so there we go. So we just need some more basic, some basic universal cable. I haven't got enough base, basic pressurized tubes, and they are here. I'll take about, let's take half of the five of those will be fine, I think. So we then connect this up like that and that one side and the other side we're going to take oxygen work we? which actually brings us nearer to the oxygen anyway so i can now remove this sign here and put down the tank again and everything should be as it was so we've got sulfur trioxide oxygen and we could actually go and make some more now we've got to what do we put in here gunpowder and forgotten huh. hydrogen chloride was the other thing we put into here oh actually I just put that on the wrong side I've just put the wrong tank down here must have got both tanks with me what have I just put that's oxygen and that's hydrogen chloride yes, exactly so with a bit of luck I haven't filled this with something bad because it was had oxygen already in it, so it was already primed, so that's good. And this thing, we were just going to think about how we're going to put that down, just put it down like that, I think. Yes, then it gets its hydrogen chloride, and it should make more sulphur. Now, the next part of the process is we need another... Well, that's actually this one, isn't it? To produce sulfuric acid. So what we, we then wanted to do was to take the output of here, the sulfur trioxide, and combine that with the water vapour coming from the rotary condenser, which is here. Now water vapour, I think, is a gas. So let's try put down another pipe down here. And the output of this, oh, actually, has got to go the other way around. Let's put this thing the other way around. It's always a juggle, I'm never exactly sure, until you've actually set it all up exactly where things should be. I seem to have gone into this lot. But at least we can bring this out. Maybe I need to take this row back a bit. But I want to connect these two together here. So let's do that first. We can always sort this out later on, it's no big deal. So that's now connected to here. So we've got our sulfur trioxide in here. Let's go and get the energy cell out of this machine. I've already got it out, okay, good. And put that into here. Where am I gone to? So we need to now connect these two together. So what have I got here? That's mechanical pipe, isn't it? Universal cable, so I've run out of pressurized tubing. Another. You never have enough, do you? I'm gonna put that down here. Like that. So that's now combined these two. And it's also got some sulfuric acid in here, water vapour. And sulfuric acid, exactly what we need. Now, the sulfuric acid is then going to get fed into the next machine. So I really do need to move this stuff back a few rows. Which is going to be more problematic. So I might really have to move everything back quite a bit. Quite a bit. And I've also got a yellow... <laughs> What a funny thing to have. The yellow, I've got a yellow marker on top of this machine, so I'm going to put a torch on it. And that takes it away. I don't really expect the mobs to spawn on top of machines, but there we are. So then we have our sulfuric acid. Now that is going to come out onto here, and it's going to go to the next machine. So the next machine in the process is, let's have a look. That one's done. We've got that one set up. And move the sign like that. Is 
where the actually the ore com the ore slurry comes in. It's chemical dissolution chamber. The solution chamber is ore slurry. So that must be. Yes, that's right. So this is the one where the, everything goes into the ore, goes into and out comes ore slurry. So let's go make that machine as well. So chemical dissolution chamber. It must be, it's probably the most expensive of the machines. Here we go. Indeed it is. But it's not too bad. Two basic tanks and one atomic alloy will produce one chemical dissolution chamber. Okay, that we can manage without too much of a problem. What do I need? I need one atomic alloy, I think, was what we wanted, wasn't it? Yes. Four of those we've got. I might have, a, I might have everything we need. Let's have a go. We need the gas tanks. So we need... Okay, I've run out of redstone. Yes. We need eight redstone. We'll take half a stack. And do that again. So we need two of these. I can make five, but two is what we need. We'll control shift on these, bring them down again so I don't have to pick them up. And then we we'll, then we should have enough for this thing here. And there we go, one chemical dissolution chamber. I'll tell you, I'll put it down here. So this is actually the start of the process. This is where the ores come in too. And I want to put that, actually I want to put this here, but yes, let's put it actually where I want it to be. Because I want the input chest to be around about here. That's where I've said anyway. So two places along we can put this, this machine down here. Let's top off this sign and put the machine down. Good question, I'll just put it one block away so that we can actually see Oh, it's actually connected to the top. Well, that's not probably a good idea to start with. Let's just move it out of the way. Put it down here somewhere it's not going to connect. Let's have a look at the interface on this. So this is empty, but we should be combining, if I'm not mistaken, let's have a look. What are we going to combine here? Ore and sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is going to come in here. And with the ore is going to come in here. And then we're going to get ore slurry out of it like that. Okay, that's not too bad. So let's just um, set this up as I want it. I'm going to remove this for the time being, I think. So we don't connect to that one. We can, I'm going to have to move that anyway. So I'm going to put it down here. Where it's gone to. Let's remove the potatoes. I'm not hungry at the moment. like that. And in fact, what we're going to do now is we're going to remove, good question, let's remove this pipe here because we don't want that to connect up to it just yet. I'm just wondering which way around I've got to set this up as well. I might have to move things around a bit. But we've got the same transport configuration and stuff like that. Right, I think I picked it up. Good. So, sulfuric acid will come out of here. Now, is that a liquid or a gas? I think that's actually a gas, but I'd be surprised. Let's just see if it connects with a, a pressurized tube. It does indeed, and it is a gas, so that's good. So now we can bring this along here. They shouldn't connect because, oh, maybe they do actually, if, I don't, if I'm not careful, bring it around like, oops, run out of pipe. So it then changes it automatically to something different. Thank you. And here's my chest here, which I've just turned around. It doesn't matter much. So we need some more basic pressurized. It's actually difficult to see whether the difference between logistic, mechanical, and universal and basic pressurized just about see the difference. It's quite difficult though. So we want to connect this stuff onto here like this bring it around here good so that now connects into here and we should get all slurry out of that so let's have a look what are we going to get out of here 
we have a little bit of sulfuric acid. So we shall take one ore. Hmm, let's take one gold ore. So that's a, and a good example of something. Shift left click will give me one gold ore. And I don't know how much it's going to produce. At the moment we don't have any power in here because I've got the power into this machine, if I'm not... Nope. This machine. Oh, I've got energy cell out altogether. Try again. So let's put the energy cell into here so it fills with power. In fact, I'll leave it in for the time being. And then we shall put the one gold ore into here. And now that's being processed. And that is taking... Oh, slightly more than one's worth, and they've given me some gold slurry out. Now, the next machine is to wash it and crystallize it. So we need two more machines for doing this. So let's go and make those two machines. Hopefully, in the process of this, I don't need any more materials. If I do, actually, I just put it straight into the um, injection chamber, I think. Let's have a look. So we need the chemical oxidizer we need the washer don't we that one oh, that's fairly straightforward one basic gas tank one steel casing uh, one bucket I think we have all of those we need so let's just see if we can make that straight away the chemical washer right, the gas tank we have to make one chemical washer and this will basically give us clean or slurry, I guess. And I want that one, two spaces away. I can remove this sign now. Oops. I just hit the wrong thing. There we go. I'll just go around and get those quickly. Not that it matters very much. I can just sort this out later on. Once you get the actual process running then it's fairly easy to move things around you've got a good idea as to where you want things to go so I'm going to put it down this way around I don't oh does that mean it's taking stuff from the top so we should be getting a liquid so we want a mechanical pipe into here let's have a look chemical washer shift clicking it aha uh -huh. So the mechanical pipe has not connected. Let me have a look at the interface on this machine. Is there any outputs on here? There's no configuration that I can see, so it must be straight out. And I presume that all slurry is actually a liquid and this hasn't connected either. Let's just see what happens if I get it this side. That hasn't connected either. And a chemical washer. Chemical washer needs water on one side. And I guess the chemical on the other. Oh, slurry is in blue. I reckon that's a liquid. So what do I have to do? No configuration either on this one. But this is in the way. So I'm going to have to move this out of the way, whether I like it or not. And I don't. I took that and move it up. Oops, got that one. There we go. And I'll put this carefully in my chest here, wherever it's gone to, in a place that we actually know where it is. So we'll do it at the bottom. So that is that one, I think. Indeed, it is, yes. So we want the second one here. Let's remove this. Fortunately, it came to me that time. And we'll put that one here. And we'll keep the switches together too, so we know what's that. What? In fact, it looks like we're going to have to do some more energy upgrades as well, because I noticed that these machines have taking energy upgrades. So let's make sure they've got them in to start with. And this one also takes gas, which is also good to realise. So why does this not connect to what do we have to put in here? I think this chest is empty, so I can knock that off. So the mechanical pipe, let's just try it on the top. Yes, it connects on the top, brilliant. 
I'm not sure why this one's not connecting. Look. Does it have any other obvious interfaces? No, let's just try it on the top. Doesn't connect. Where is it going to connect to? Well, it doesn't seem to be connecting anywhere. Gold slurry. That's very strange, actually. I'm a bit. It might be one of these things which is not actually is connecting, but not looking as though it's connecting. So we basically need to take this one up the top here. We'll remove this one. Don't think that's the one that's used, being used. Hopefully, I can do this, and I don't have to come do another episode to get it to to work. So that still hasn't got any. Ooh, wonder where the water's going to go in. Maybe the water comes in at the top. That would actually make more sense. So what I'll do is I shall remove this one again. So I don't want it to connect up automatically. What else have we got here? That's logistical transport underneath. That's a challenge. And that has actually connected to the bottom. Well, that's fair enough. That would be an output. So I'm a bit confused as to where the slurry is connecting to. I reckon that's water. Let's just see. How are we going to get water here? Well, I'm going to take a bucket and get a bucket's worth of water to start with. Or maybe a couple of buckets of water. Now, how can I... Let's just quickly go and make another personal tank. Well, not, well, a water tank, basically. I want to see what's going to happen when I put some water into that. So, we need a tank. And we want this one. I only want one, really. I'll just put it down. And then I'll put a bucket of water into it. The idea of that is to find out where the bucket of water is going to. I should be able to right click it, yes I can, good. And I should then be able to shift click that one and come over here and hopefully put this on the top of the here like this. I'll try to connect, maybe it will try to connect to something, I don't think it will though. There we go. And then, of course, I need to configure this now to fluids. And I want to pull the water out of here. Indeed, it's gone into the machine, as I suspected it might be. And it has gone into the water section of it. So, what is wrong with this? Do I need to connect a gas pipe to this? Let's just try a basic pressurized tube. Aha! Uh -huh. So slurry is a gas. There you go. So that's come out now, and we've now got water and gold slurry, and we shall make something out of those when we put, give it to power. So this is probably this is in that case probably a pipe as well. Um, I need to change that to wrench mode. This is probably a um, gas as well. Let's remove the chemical crystal. We actually do need the chemical crystallizer because that'll be the one. So let's just take a, another pressurized tube and click that on there. Indeed, it's connected. Good. So the last part of the chain <coughs> is to make the chemical crystallizer. This one. So this is a top range machine, but not too difficult to do. So we need some more basic tanks. Let's have a look if we can get two of those. Fantastic. And uh, we need some more atomic alloys. I think I needed two. I've got plenty of those and prepared. That's good. Uh, we've got already one steel casing. What else do we need? That's it. I think we've got the basic control circuits. And we go. The last component in the in the process. 
course, the next thing to do is simply do, as I said before, upgrades, gas upgrades, energy upgrades, muffling upgrades, blah, blah, blah. And let's moving machines around. So let's put him down. Mm, good question. Let's put him down there. I'll see what, what the interface is like on this. It's basically two sides. Okay, good. I don't know which to look at the interface. So here we have some, what I guess is some clean slurry. And outputs will be crystals. Okay, good. So I don't think we can get this the wrong way around. And from experience, I have to do it from the other side. Goodbye, torch. I'll have to put you down again in a second. Nope. This time, not. Okay, good. So it has turned around this time, which is also nice. So. Now all I have to do is I'm going to temporarily run some power cables to these machines. Here I've got basically some, you know, some cable out of here, and I'll drag I'll drag it underneath later on, and I've got to put the switch down again. Brilliant. To see how it all connects up. So, basic universal cable. I've got 18 of those. Let's drag them to long here. Like that. There we go. So those, all those machines should now have power. They have, I can take the energy cell out of here. It's a bit flat now. This one doesn't seem to have power. The chemical washer, but it must have power. This one hasn't got power. There probably is no power, is there? Have we got any power in this? machine at the moment that's empty that's got no hydrogen in something's wrong obviously hmm I'll figure that out for the time being we'll just have to use the the energy cell I think I've got power problems at the moment so just let that charge up a little bit and while we're doing that for the last three minutes so let's make another energy cell and get that charged up as well and then at least we have some power what I'm also going to do in the next as the cube isn't it so we just basically need those have we got those yes we can can we do two we can great so we need another um, casing. I think that's basically it, actually. And oh, redstone again, run out of redstone. It goes through quite a lot of redstone, but it's not actually a problem. You get 12 for them, one ore. Right, that one's done. Now, let's go that in over this place here. I think we've probably got enough power in this at the moment for it to be, to allow it to charge up a bit. Oh no, it's been used all. Oh, it's been used, is it? I'm going to do it in here. No, I can't. Well, I'll, have to, I'll just chop these two off that like that and then, then it'll charge up. charging up but uh, uh, reasonably slowly while, while that's charging up let's go and get the other one that should be reasonably charged up now 1.3 out of 2 and let's get these machines running all I want to do is basically process that one ore into some something useful so here we got the water and the gold slurry Hopefully we've got enough power to produce this. And did I actually upgrade this with anything? Energy, yes I did. 
and its output. Oh, it's got some clean gold slurry ore here. Two hundred. Okay, so this just needs a little bit of power. I think this has got enough power now. Let's just hope that this will actually work and produce the actual crystals. So that's actually telling us what we're doing. So in fact, I should also update the energy in here as well. Let's get that out of the chest. I've still got some upgrades left from the previous time. That's speed. Uh, no, I haven't. I've run out. I'll have to make some more of those. So we're here, aren't we? And there we go. One gold crystal. So all we need to do now with the gold crystal is to take that out of here and put it into here in the Elite Factory. And it should be processed into a gold shard. And then the whole process just continues as it would have done before. And it should auto eject. That's on. Let's just check the configuration auto ejecting is on. It's probably got nowhere to go to at the moment because I removed the, the, the sorting chest and things like that. So, basically, that's it. I'm obviously going to have to move these machines around, which I will do in my own time. I'm probably going to take these, these tanks and the thermal evaporation plant back enough space so I can actually pump the chlorine here directly into it. I'm not sure this is going to produce enough, but I'm going to have to find out. And so hopefully it will do, because I don't think we're going to require that much, but we'll see what happens. It's one of these things. You have to sort of play with it until you're happy with it. And I may well have to move everything up or around here, because that's sort of a nuisance having to get the water in. I may well just pump it in from the top one there here. That shouldn't be too bad. Because I was even thinking about moving these pipes up here. So I could actually feed the hoppers also directly with um, items. And then you can colour code those when you're coming down. So that's it. And until next time, I'll say bye for now.